Hi, everyone. And I hope that you can join me for today's video. And I'm going to be showing my hair routine, what I put in my hair, how I keep my hair so full and luscious. And I'm also showing how I style, how I take care of my hair as I'm using heat tools for the styling. So we'll do that one. I am really in love with the Via Sassoon range and I've always bought Via Sassoon hair straightening tools, hair curlers, uh, and there was also um, the Viasa Sane Curling Wand. And I really think that all of those tools make amazing hair, amazing volume, and just really beautiful styles that anyone can wear, whatever your hairstyle, whatever your hair colour, how you take care of your hair, which I hope everyone does. And I've got my hairbrush, but that shouldn't be too badly because I did thoroughly brush and comb my hair this morning. I have a Oscar Awesome hair clip and this is the Jumbo Claw. I also have the Swatch Cough Got To Be Guardian Angel, Protect, Shine, Be Divine, Heat Protection Spray. And it says it only goes to 220 Celsius heat protection for hot hair styling. But I have my VS Assume Slimline hair straightener on at 235. So I'm just going to test the waters and see how that goes <clears throat> because it's either this has only been created for that temperature or will it burn my hair off? if I go too hot with it on. I section my hair with this clip. I know, I know I look like a bit of a goofball, but I liberally spray this all over my hair. And it does have a really beautiful smell. It's like the hair colour scent, but it's not too strong. And it looks so pretty. Like, I absolutely love it. And it leaves your hair with a nice, fresh smell as just if you've used dry shampoo and it, that's the smell that it's giving. And I go from root to tip of my hair. And to make my hair voluminous, I
how I was taught is to grab a section of hair and because it has a round dome on the top, you fold it over and then you go straight down. And there's that little volume bit there. And I don't make the back of my hair voluminous. I just keep it straight because the back of my hair has its own mine. It just it doesn't bounce very well except when I put a curling iron through it. And when I do use a curling iron, it makes extreme volume in my hair. I love using my VS Assoon curling wand. It's really awesome. <clears throat> now I'm just going to the middle section. I was going to get my hair cut a week or so ago, but I just honestly getting my hair cut is $35. Charlotte our daughter, hers is 30, and our son's is like 25 or something for a men's haircut, or for a child's haircut rather. I honestly don't get it. It's like kids' hair, yeah, they may have a lot of it, but it's very fine and, well, Charlotte's hair is fine, but there's a lot of it. My hair is fine, but there's a lot of it. But Kirk has a heck of a lot of volume in his hair. Because of his and his dad's culture, they just have very luscious, thick hair. My hair only gets thick when it needs to be trimmed, but I don't, like last December was the time when I had my hair cut for the second time last year, but I haven't had my hair trimmed this year. And that's okay because like I don't mind messing it up. I might kick up a sting sometimes, but I'd rather feed my children and give them what they'd like. Now I'm going in with the third layer. <coughs>
And now I'm going in with the last uh, section. Now this was eight dollars on special at my local Woolworth supermarket and they don't come with lids on them which I thought was very odd but if I buy one and it has a lid on it that'll be great. Uh, I don't have my hair oil with me. I shall get it when I go and put on my makeup. And <clears throat> I had a pole, like a quite a few questions that I wanted to answer or story time with all of my viewers and subscribers. I had two of my poll questions selected. So the first one was ask me anything and the second one was having children so I'll answer those when I'm actually sitting down and doing my makeup because I get distracted when I'm getting my hair well straightening my hair myself rather And I like to put a lot of volume on the top sections of my hair. I use a hair care brand called Soda Hair. And they have their own company, like their own website. But they also sell through... Woolworth supermarket. If you can't tell already, I absolutely love Woolworths uh, because that's where I get all of my shopping points. But I bought it um, about two months ago, I'd say, and it has helped my hair not be so dry and crusty because I colour my hair um, like it when it needs colouring or when I need to colour my hair, like if it's got a heap of greys or whatnot, and I started getting grey hair when I was 19. And that's without touching hair colour after... My first baby was born and I think it was just motherhood in general. So now we're going to go into the beauty studio after my makeup. And today's look is 
going to be a very pretty romantic mauve eyeshadow look and I do wear it on a weekly basis I'd say and my beauty table is extremely messy and I should have cleaned it before I started but I didn't so that's where we are right now Need some light in here. And I hope that's not too blinding. Okay, so I so I use a hell of a lot of eyeshadows and this is just runoff from my eyeliner yesterday it's annoying but uh, I didn't take it off before bed and that's just what I do because I was super tired. So I have all my hair products. This is the Soda Hair Therapy not sponsored it's a leave-in treatment with avocado and almond oil and it has the most beautiful smell like I think it's so pretty and my husband always asks what's that yummy smell I want to eat it it reduces split ends and I can confirm that because I do heat style my hair there isn't very many split ends at all. Softens and strengthens. It definitely softens. So if I don't blow my blow <laughs> blow dry my hair that night and my hair just naturally dries, I feel it like it's like my pillowcase at the moment. It's very soft, it's very lovely. Uh, and it's plant-based, so I don't know how to put it, but it's just awesome hair care. And this is the Frizz Tamer. This is the smoothing oil. It has argan and Brazil nut oils, so it's also a leave-in treatment. It maintains hair strength heat protection of up to 230 degrees and it's also plant-based so that's that one as well and I wish they come in bigger bottles but I've already washed my hair this week and I don't need to wash it unless I get something in my hair or unless it gets really oily and I can't fix it with anything else then I go and wash it and this now my sister-in-law bought this for me on my birthday last year and it's the extra strength damage remedy plus coconut miracle oil and it's 
penetrating oil. So it claims that drench dry and damaged strands with the secret of Maui, so Hawaii, obviously. This ultra-rich repairing blend with coconut oil, essence of tea, and vanilla bean extract helps to repair, soften, and revive strands. Discover silky soft island girl hair. And that's from OGX. But I can confirm that it does take care of my hair when I'm not using the soda hair care. And I do think it's very pretty. But like I'm um, with both of these, this is only $15. This small tiny bottle is $30. $30. I'm saving $15 by buying this. So pickers can be choosers because I love this Frizz Tamer Soda Hair Care Oil. It's just, I love it. So I get two drops on my hands, and that's heaps. And then I just go through my hair. And, like, I've used this on dry hair before I've straightened it or curled it, whatever I was doing that day. And I think it looks fantastic. Like, it just gives my hair, it just gives it back some nourishment and nutrients and I think it looks beautiful. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to go on with the makeup and the questions because I've been wanting to do this when I said I was going to do it and I didn't because I had so much going on. Hubby and I are working and our little ones and just getting through, I suppose. So I'm going to micellar my skin. This is the value brand that I rave about. It's the Step 1 Micellar Water. And its claims are it lifts away dirt, makeup and excess oil in just a few swipes. I can confirm that it does remove makeup. The eye makeup though, you have to drench your cotton pad or whatever you're using to remove your makeup. You have to drench your makeup pad, hold the product on your eyes for like two minutes at least and then gently wipe away. It's crazy, but that's probably with any micellar water, micellar wipe. They have micellar wipes. I want to try those one day. Uh, it is no harsh rubbing, so you just one swipe and your makeup's gone apparently. Just refreshed skin and a face washed clean and cleared of impurities. Now, I can say that when I've taken my makeup off with this, then went ahead and exfoliated and cleansed my face. I've gone in with the toner after washing and cleaning and all that stuff. 
Charles said she, um, I won't come back for her, but Baba, I will. Okay, just make each other happy and don't argue. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just around. Yeah, Barney, come here, baby. Good boy. He's a baby. It has niacinamide, vitamin B3 and witch hazel water to help soothe and hydrate skin. And I can say that this does soothe my skin after it being so cold and wet like the last few days here have been freezing cold. The coolness has dried my skin out and my skin is, no, Barney, on his bed, on his bed. There's my good boys. My skin is oily combination, but... Just these last couple of days, my skin has been dry in patches and it's not nice. Like, I don't enjoy it. So let's go in now with the micellar water, toner and face creams. and face oil. This is the Frula Skin Rose Hip Hydrate and Glow Face Oil. I've only been testing that out for over a month and it really does leave my skin with a healthy glow. It's... If you don't prep your skin right, it does just sit on top of all the serums and everything else. But if you're just using it as an everyday moisturiser, then that's what it can be used for as well. So... I'm going to remove any makeup, any <clears throat> anything that's going to make my makeup today look yuck. And I was going to buy the mauve, um, mauve coloured what's it called? Um, Burgundy Bar Maybelline eyeshadow palette. But as soon as I went to put my order in, they're sold out. But not to fret, I have many mauve tone colours because that's what suits my eyes and it looks really pretty. And now I'm going in with the Step 2 Toner with Witch Hazel. It cleans, soothes and tones. I'll forever love this toner. It also has witch hazel and it's formulated with witch hazel plant extracts to help smooth pores and promote clean, fresh skin. I've gone out with just all these face care products on, 
like when I can't just sit down and put on my face makeup and it really does make your skin look healthy and radiant and just very pretty. <clears throat> I'll go on my forehead, along my T-zone, Cupid's bow and chin, along my cheeks, and now the face care. So. This is the Step 3 Volume Moisturiser. It is <clears throat> with Broad Spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen. It's for my skin types. <coughs> so this specifically formulated moisturiser is infused with vitamins and designed to help moisturise, soothe and soften your skin. I've went to bed with this on, just this, no serums, no oils, no nothing. And even though it was night time and I wasn't going outside or anywhere humid, it still made my skin feel soft and bouncy. Because next year I'll be 30. I'll be getting older. And I just need to take care of my skin and make sure that I'm doing everything right by it. Drinking more water instead of coffee. But honestly, coffee is life when you're a parent. And this is the Nasho Ageless Brightening Eye Cream. I really do enjoy this. It does hydrate. It does look very pretty under makeup. But I'd rather the Olay Ultimate Eyes, the, not Peptide, I can't remember the name of it, but it has this discoloration here underneath my eye, like the hyperpigmentation. It does remove it, like I'll put it on and then five minutes later, it won't even look like it's there. It's that awesome. And this is the Pore Minimizing Serum from, which is an Enco brand. It's from Kmart. This is what it looks like. And it's very good. So I don't want all of that to sink in before I add my rose hip. Face oil. And while that is all settling in, I can organise the makeup I want to wear. Sorry, puppy. And I'll use 
my Emco Beauty Skin Roller System. It's a 0 0.3 millimeter derma roller, and this helps just everything sink into my skin. And you only need very light pressure with this. No, no shivers. I can go in with my face oil. And I only do two drops of this because it just spreads out. Um, So after I've done all of this face care, I don't normally go in with a face primer, maybe here beneath my nose. Uh, here and on the sides, like underneath my eyes, there's some really big pores and I'll normally use um, my blurring primer this is just lip balm, coconut, just a cheap one I bought from Priceline in Armadale. And so, yeah, I'll go in with the blurring primer and I'll only use the smallest bit, so like that much. And I'll rub it in between my fingers, well, two fingers, one each. And I'll just press it underneath here. And I'll get a bit more. Not yet. Yes, I'm going out now. Okay, well, you can. With his mum. He's in there. And you're the cuddles. The boy. The boy. Yes, he just watches. He just watches for daddy.
He loves scratches. This is the Senegent's uh, Shadow Sense in the color Natural Tan. And I'm just going to put some on a Giacomo number G1038 eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put that all over. as well on this eye. Hi, baby. Did Daddy annoy you? <laughs> did, he, did he annoy the puppy? Did he annoy the baby? <laughs> Up down for a minute. Are you tired? You slept all night? He wants to go out with daddy. So I'm going to be using the shades out of the Revolution Neutrals 2 palette. And I'm going to go back and forth between this top here, that mustardy color there and along here. So I'm gonna start blending. It doesn't have the color names on the bottom, but I'm just going to blend all of that with the Senegent's Um, shadow Sense in Natural Tan. And I'm just blending all of this together. Now I'm going to be dipping into both of these shades. Oh. And I do need a hand mirror, that's for sure. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and blend all of that together. 
but just focusing on the outer corner. And the same on the other eye. Bringing it up to that crease. Going in again. And I was going to make a cut crease, but I'm not going to today. It's just a beautiful mauve eye look. And I'm just going to use a clean micellar uh, cotton pad. And I'm just going to even the ends of the eyes out, the corners. I've already checked them out. <laughs> but I am going to go into this purple color right here. And I'm going to just use my finger. my compact again and just put it in the middle to the inner corner And then going ahead on the other eye. And Barney's got the sillies outside. <laughs> you ran into something. So that's the eyes. That is super pigmented. Um, so now we're going to go on with the base.
And I'm going to use my beauty blender, which I have to wash. And then go in with my Garnier Skin Active BB Cream in light. Just everywhere. And this for a BB cream is super full coverage. He had the sillies, didn't he? <laughs> Barney, on your bed. On your bed. And I'm looking into my beauty mirror. Okay, that was gross. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline New York Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in Fair. And the bridge my nose, forehead, chin, cupid's bow, and blend that all out.
And then go in with my Nude by Nature buffing brush and it's so good for the inner corners of my eye. And just getting underneath my eye. And I'm not going to do cream bronzer today. I'm just going to do um, powder bronzer. Using my DB Cosmetics powder brush into my RCMA translucent powder. Just all over, everywhere. Because with all the powder products, we're going to be setting it with setting spray. Where to put it? Can't remember. Great. So Today I'm going to use the Emco Beauty Silky Smooth Bronzer and that's all it's called on the back too. going to go in with just a cheap 
brush from eBay. It doesn't have a name on it. No. Yeah. I'm making a video. Yeah. Love you, Mommy. I love you too. And I'm giving you a cuddle. Hello, guys. I'm giving my mommy a cuddle. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mm -hmm. I like your makeup. Thank you. Guys, I'm playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. If you like Minecraft, you can like... Minecraft, if you like mommy's videos, subscribe. Yes. Love you, mommy. I love you. What's that microphone for? Tells me how loud I'm speaking. Goo, goo, goo. Mm -mm -mm. Nah. <laughs> Come on, keep playing. Yes, mommy. So that's me all bronzed up. Now we'll go on to blush. Using the Makeup Revolution blush so, uh, sugar and spice. I'm going in with a Sports Girl Angled Blush Brush. And that's the blush done. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and layer on some Maybelline Colossal Curl Mascara. And do a wing liner. Setting spray. And I'm all done. Well, you can do it another day. Maybe. Go out of the bedroom, please. Why? 
because I've said so. That was our youngest. Emco Beauty wing liner stamp and liner duo. That one's a bit far out, but that's all right. Notes that are done. <clears throat> Eyebrows. 